physical computing with a buzzer, and a traffic light. We have created a button and light program, so let's add a bit of noise to the project. The buzzer is another simple component that can work very similarly to the LED and button. We will be able to wire up the buzzer and connect an LED and button to create our own traffic light. These components have so many different applications in different projects. Materials. Raspberry Pi Model 3D Plus, Micro USB Power Supply, HDMI Cord, HDMI Monitor, 8 gig micro SD card, buzzer, LEDs, resistors, jumper wires, breadboard, button. What's the buzz? We are going to explore using the buzzer for our physical computing. The wiring of a buzzer is like the LED wiring minus the resistor. That's because the buzzer needs more power than the LED does. Hook your buzzer up like this. Place the buzzer on the breadboard and connect the longer leg positive to GPIO 17 and the shorter leg negative to the ground. The longer leg is on the negative side. Code. Once you have everything wired, open up a new tab in Thony and copy this code. This code works very much like the code for the LED. We pull the function from the library, we designate pin 17 as buzzer, and then we tell it to turn on. When you run this program, the buzzer will turn on and stay on until you tell it to turn off. Replace buzzer.on with buzzer.off to shut it down. Just having it on might not be helpful. To make it turn on and off, replace buzz.on with this code. We added the forever loop to get the buzzer on for one second and then off for one second. If you want to shut the buzzer off, make sure to stop the program during an off moment so it stays off. If you kill the program while it's on, the buzzer will stay on. Traffic light. One of the standard projects used when teaching Python on a Raspberry Pi is the traffic light project. This uses three LEDs, a button, and a buzzer. We are going to combine all three of this for one small project. First, we need to wire our components to the breadboard. Check the diagram below. Place the LEDs in the breadboard with the short legs, negative, and the positive rail on the breadboard. Notice the color order of the LEDs in the diagram. We want the LEDs to resemble a traffic light. Place the long legs, positive, in the holes across the column and rail divider. Next, add a resistor from the positive leg across the center of the breadboard. For each LED, you will need a male-female jumper to connect them to the Raspberry Pi. For the green LED, connect the jumper to GPIO 7. For yellow, connect it to GPIO 8, and for red, connect it to GPIO 25. Next, add the buzzer so that the one of the leads is in the positive rail and that the other is across like the LED. Connect a male-female jumper wire from GPIO 15 to the column below the positive buzzer lead. Now set up the buttons across the center divide of the breadboard with the male-female jumper going from the GPIO 21 and a male-male jumper going from the other lead to the positive rail. This connects the button to the ground. Lastly, take a male-female jumper wire and connect the ground to the positive rail on the breadboard that holds the LEDs and other components. This should mean you have everything wired. Check the diagram to make sure everything looks correct and make sure you have pressed the components and jumpers onto the breadboard sufficiently. Let's test each component one by one. First, the button. If the button is pressed, print hi, else print buy. Next, let's check the LED. When the button is pressed, LED is on. When the button is released, LED is off. Lastly, let's check the buzzer, LED, and the button all together. To begin, LED and buzzer will be set to off. When the button is pressed, LED will light up. Then the buzzer will turn on. When the button is released, we go back to the first line of the while loop and the LED and buzzer are turned off. 
Next, copy down the code in a new Thony tab. Can you guess what this code will do? Pause the video to take a look. When you push the button, the traffic light should change, the buzzer should sound, and then everything will shut off. They will restart when the button is pressed again. Challenge. Can you change the duration of the lights being on? Can you change the order they turn on? Can you create a light and buzzer for people who are crossing the street? 